But you're basically just waiting for Steel to come out with a car or something. Hey, can you imagine if Steel and Harley made something together? Man, it'd be orange like Donald Trump and run on nitromethane. And did you have something you wanted me to look at or were you just kind of hanging out? I was just here to talk about how great Steel stuff is. Well, howdy doody there, fellas. I got this here uh, Husqvarna 51 I picked up at the uh, flea market. Want to see uh, Mr. Powell there if you could uh, check it out for me. I'm sure, uh, sure the old girl will fire right up being a husky and all. <laughs> Stupid. Hey, at least you got one of the uh, ones before they become, uh, you know, Polans. Hey, these Husqvarna 51s are good made saws there, steel boy. Better watch what you're talking about. Shoot, my MS 250 to eat that thing alive. Huh, <laughs> what's that MS stand for? Um, my, my, my <laughs> might start. <laughs> it's motorcycle. It's a uh, it's German for power saw. <laughs> yeah, what he said. Say, what's that XP stand for on your Husqvarna? Extra Poland stands for extremely daggone perfect. It actually stands for extra performance. It just denotes Husqvarna's commercial grade of saws. Yeah, man, that XP denotes that it's raw, pure American. Swedish, Swedish made chainsaw awesomeness. Yeah, whatever, man. Unless you spend 700 bucks on a Husqvarna, you're just getting an orange Poland. At least with steel, you're getting stuff that's manufactured in the USA. Assembled in the USA of foreign and domestic parts. Yeah, man, those steels are all bark and no bite. Nothing but a bunch of RPMs like those Japanese tuner cars. No muscle. Well, my uncle said that a Husqvarna will shake its exhaust off faster than Nicki Minaj in a twerking contest. Now do what? That's pretty fast.